Summer Nutrition Club Explorers. Welcome back, it's Emily. On today's episode, the third and final, we are going to be making some astronaut pudding. For our astronaut pudding, you're gonna need a few ingredients and supplies. You're gonna need some dry milk, which you should be able to find at any grocery store. You're gonna need some instant pudding mix. You can choose vanilla, chocolate, or any flavor you like. You're also gonna need some water. And then for supplies, you're going to need a Ziploc bag a liquid measuring cup, and a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Before we get started today, we're gonna make sure we wash our hands. Now that we've gathered all our supplies, we can begin making our astronaut pudding. So first, start by opening your Ziploc bag. You might wanna get a little air in it. And then we're gonna add our dry milk. So you're going to need one tablespoon and two teaspoons. And when you're measuring dry ingredients, you wanna make sure that you pack the top and then scrape the excess off. So here's one tablespoon. And then here's two teaspoons. Now we can go ahead and add our instant pudding. You're going to wanna to add one tablespoon and two teaspoons. So it's equal parts dry milk and instant pudding. So that's one tablespoon and two teaspoons. All right, now that we have that, we're gonna go and get our water. You're going to wanna make sure you use a liquid measuring cup. So this is a solid versus the liquid. We're gonna add one fourth cup of water. So you will find the one fourth line right on this side so right there and we are going to pour our water so i just have this and you're going to want to get eye level with it to make sure you're pouring the correct amount in there so get eye level with it and make sure it's right on the line for you so now i'm going to add my one fourth cup of water to my equal parts instant pudding and dry milk so Go ahead and pour it on in there. You can already see it starting to mix and thicken. Then you can nicely seal your bag on up. And make sure it is sealed super tight so nothing comes out. And then begin mixing. Once you get it to the perfect consistency, you can go ahead and give it a little taste. For fun, I'm going to add some star sprinkles. Now, if we were really in space, we probably wouldn't have sprinkles because they would float around. Um, but just for fun here on Earth, we can go ahead and add some sprinkles. And then go ahead and give it a taste. Thank you everyone for joining me for our final episode where we made some delicious astronaut pudding.